We're back. Tuesday night, Elite Series Racing, presented by us, of course, Mitch Diamond and the Yankee Suns Band. They're at Talladega tonight for 94 laps. They're getting qualifying done. Got Saints in the booth again. Missed you last week, buddy. How you doing? Uh, pretty good, man. Um, I don't know. Talladega gonna be a uh, <laughs> gonna be a you know. I don't really know what to expect. I've never actually called a plate race, and uh, I haven't I've been either. In, um, I've been in them, um, but uh, I'm sure it's gonna look a lot different. It's gonna be fun. I'm interested to watch and see what it looks like from up here and not on the track. And maybe you can learn something, maybe. You know, yeah. Watching this. That's a big thing for sure. We don't have Bear Especially here tonight in the broadcast booth with us, unfortunately. He's got some other responsibilities going on tonight with the Venom Racing League, and they're trying to get their season situated. And I think so they're just about ready to jump. Who won last week? Who did win last week? It was Workman, wasn't it? I believe. I believe he dominated the race. Well. We go back and on. double check. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he absolutely dominated the field at Richmond. And he did. Mm -hmm. He did. He dominated the field at Richmond. Statement type he win. It's pretty good in everywhere. Texas as well. Um, obviously missed the Bristol race, so I think he would have had a pretty good run there too. Yeah, he is good, you know, pretty much everywhere. All right, let me see if I can find the point sheet. Get you guys updated on that. All right, and we got them right here. So Cody Workman, C. Workman, has 316 points. Eight starts, four wins, seven top fives, seven top tens. Really no big surprise there, right? Speedy Steve in the nine car second, 277 points, 39 behind. In his eight starts, he's got no wins, five top fives, and six top tens. Sitting in third is the ten car of Reeser, 271 points, 45 back. Nine starts, one win, five top fives, and six top tens. So that's your top three. Qualifying's wrapped up. We should get an invite any second. I'm curious to see who's on the poll. I mean, yeah, that's you're right. Um, I think it's going to be somewhere we don't expect. I don't expect anything. <laughs> it's Talladega. I have no idea. Uh, it'd be Workman. <clears throat> Workman is on the poll with a 48-6. 6-3, and then it's Tiggs with a 48-6-5. He has not sent the invite yet. It will be shortly. Fujimo, third, with a 48-6-8. Jake the Snake in the 14th, fourth, with a 48-7-2. And I can't see who fifth place is yet. Unfortunately. All right, here's our invite. I think AJG wants to join us in the booth. While we're loading in here, we'll send him an invite. Would help if he was showing online, of course. Oh, he is. There we go. They have not taken the green flag yet, don't worry. They're taking it right now. Well actually that stream of his is way beyond way beyond behind. They're actually 
taking it and heading into turn one. What's going on, AJG? I've been busy a couple past weeks. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to show up. Let me hear you. So out of turn two, the 12 car is able to get that top line moving. And it's going to knock the three of Cody Workman all the way back to fourth. He's under the yellow line. Oh, goodness. I believe that was the four got up into the 19. It's a little early for that, gentlemen. So they finish lap one. Workman's going to be fourth. Started on the pole. I didn't expect that. Tiggs in the 12 is leading. 14 of Jake the Snake. Right behind him, Mindflaw on the 2, who's had horrible luck with connection. So hopefully he's got that figured out. Field's right. pretty much going to get single file. I think we're going to see this most of the race. Um, people usually don't look to make moves early on at Talladega. Daytona, you know, just sit in line and wait. Especially not when there's stages, and especially with the damage on. Right. But we got a top five breakaway. It's nice to be back. I think you're going to see a lot of that. It's easy for the top five to break away. I feel like uh, get back to about six, seven spot, a lot of checkups, lot, and then you know you got to really rely on the guys behind you to check up, and it causes uh, it just causes some this. Miss cues by you, you know, checking the mirror too much. It definitely you might does. Get off the throttle at the wrong time, and just all of a sudden they're gone, and there's nothing you can do. So these guys have some new people joining the group this week. You got the 21 car of Ghostly Ratter. You got the 88 of Marty Phil, and also they have somebody who switched numbers this week. We had two 22 cars in the field last week, which was a mistake. One of them being JP, uh, JPG, and the other one being the Mick. And he's actually running the 43 car this week, so they've got that figured out. You can find him in that car. So now it's a six-car breakaway at the front of the field. Everybody's still single file, and Tig's in the 12 still leading. Did you expect this? Oh, yeah. I mean... That's usually how these races go. I mean, you can see I'm riding on board right now with the 42 car. That's the last car of this breakaway. Um, and uh, he's just keeping a decent gap, you know, just making sure that he's staying in the draft. Um, and I can tell you that uh, these guys won't really be making any moves anytime soon. Behind them, though, you know, it looks a little scattered. Um, I'm going to drop back. To the 43's deal, you got him and uh, we're watching him getting pushed by the 21. Both of 21. those guys are pretty new. The mix, somewhat new. I think this is his second race now. We're just talking about him you switching got, to the 43 and then Ghostly Rattler, Ratter, and the yeah. 21. Right you behind him, the one car, now. Brave June Bag. Those guys are the second pack of this race. Um, definitely the unlucky pack they're losing time to the uh leaders i can guarantee because there's more cars up there and i don't know if the two cars behind them are going to be able to catch them so towards the front the four and the 42 are trying to make something happen on the top side they're not gonna not gonna do it though they're gonna drop and back they must down have had some issues in the back because as i'm scrolling through the field uh can you tell me where the leader is the leader should be coming uh, into turn two. Yeah, on the back stretch. Okay, because we are looking at, I presume, our last place driver, the 88 car. He is now coming out of turn two. Yeah, that's Marty. Not sure what happened to him. I think he might just be hanging out, letting the race and play then, out. Yeah, the 22 of uh, JPR, I believe. He's uh, second to last. I think something might have happened between them. Oh, we got the 14 on the apron, though. He's trying That's to make a move. Three to make the move. The three and the four make the move on the high side of the 12. Doesn't look like they want to line up the whole time. It doesn't. It looks like the three car is trying to make a statement still. I mean, 
Coming to 20 laps to go on the stage. And what a sight it is to see that three car leading at Talladega once again. It's pretty cool anytime you see it for sure. I like how they use the top here. Uh, it's, not, it's not commonly seen. No, 4 2 is going to ditch it. No, that's going to really ruin their run. It, it is cool to see. It's hard to get the high line rolling, but it can be done. Yep. If you have comes right up, it's just too late. You can't be hopping in and out of the lines like that. You gotta really stick with it. Oh, oh it was the four the doors, the three. And uh, now he's gonna be stranded on the outside by himself. That's not gonna work well for him. Let's see if he can get down in front of the three. He's gonna dive it down to the bottom. Certainly not gonna make him happy in the three car, but it looks like they've got it all figured out. They'll try to make another run Let's towards it. Meanwhile, they they're gonna get a good run on this back stretch. Here they go. I called it. Here they go. 42's not with him though. It's going to be nothing coming into the corner. You can see the front guys kind of break apart though. Uh, not so much though. They're going to well, they've it. got to try to break those Fords up. Those three are holding the line too good on the bottom for three cars to, to pass them on the top. You're going to need an extra car or you're going to have to get those three broken up for a minute. While they're doing this, I'm wondering if it's allowing the rest of the field to catch up at all. I don't really um, think so. Uh, no, it looks like they're dropping farther back because I cannot see them at the all. The 43 car is the leader of the second pack, right? Actually, they might have picked... Yep, yes. And yes, he is. They are not gaining no, very much. No, not very much at all. Riding on board the 43 right now, you can see the lead pack up there as they're going through 3 and 4. Well, you can't see them right they now, but you'll see them again as we come out of 4. Things have set before and three have uh, fallen back in line. Three um, nope. Four goes no, out again. just as you say that, they're trying it again. But I tell you, man, these aggressive moves he's making, I feel like they're slowing him down. He's jerking the, the wheel so hard to the right. You can see it when he turns. It just. Yeah, he's going to want to try to be a little more smoother about that. you got to time the run right, and you got to have people lined up behind you timing the run perfect time as well. To run, but it's just not going to work. The 42 is just not timed up right. The yeah, 42 out of, is not ready or committed. Out of turn two is probably the best place to do it, either that or out of turn four. But like I said earlier, if you're gonna if you have three cars lined up on the bottom, you pretty much need four lined up on the top to try to make any any ground up, unless you can get those bottom three separated a little bit. And right now they're nose to tail, and they have been the entire time. And there's only two working on the outside. Yeah, this 12 car of Tiggs is uh, just. Cruising with Jake the Snake right on him. He's got Mindfall right behind him. So, you know, those guys are just uh, just hanging out. And I could be uh, wrong here, but it seems to me like the 42 of Sticky doesn't really have the speed to be up there. He's kind of just hanging on to the draft. Well, I don't know. Uh, I, he's kind of playing like that. nine games because the draft can do anything. You know, he could catch up to them if he wanted to. That's but true. Yeah, he, but he, I haven't seen I him tucked up at. on anyone. As I say when that, I here he goes. On board. When I was on his onboard, he was really off the throttle, and when he did get on the throttle, he flew up to the back and almost ran in the back of the four car. Okay. So, we'll keep an eye out. He's, it's early. I have a quick question. He's chilling. Uh, Go ahead. Do they run manuals in the sleep? Or? No, the game calls the cautions. Okay. 16 yeah, laps to go left in the stage. And the 42 okay, seems to be dropping be back a little bit. We'll see if he pulls back in. In 15 laps, or so, you know, 16 laps, the uh, top three are kind of going to get broken up. So that's really the chance. And well, if I'm the three car right now, I'm thinking about stage two in positioning. And uh, I want fifth, because if I can do the same thing. Basically, what you could do right now is you get yourself in fifth spot for stage one, start in fifth, get yourself in the third spot on the restart, start in third in stage three, and then be in second through the run. And Absolutely. Hope the caution doesn't come out. I'll tell you who else is thinking about stage but two. Is everybody that's right not now. in this pack. Oh, yes. Yeah, because you haven't really seen what they have because they just off the beginning, it wasn't good for them. It makes you wonder if they're just riding. Or if his front group is just that much or more organized. I don't know. It's obviously got the most cars in the group up front. Yeah. 
You know, like I said, though, it's hard, man. I mean, it is hard to run in the back. You know, you get about six, seven, eight, nine, ten back. I mean, I've ran, I ran races with you where we've had. Ooh, the 12 almost just gave 15. up the bottom. It's allowing yeah, the three yeah. car to get a run. That's what I was talking about. You got to get them separated. You know, we had like 16 cars, you know? Still not going to be running. enough, though. Yeah, absolutely. You run in 14th in this, man. I'm going 214 half throttle down the back stretch. I mean, it's crazy. For sure. Crazy. So, I mean. Yeah, pack racing at restricted places. Oh, that's just not the run. And there's no nobody with them. And that's really going to. He's trying to I make it like work. The, out of the two, the three definitely has a stronger car. We see him get farther up there. And the four makes the runs. It just, it just never formulates. Um. 42's lost the pack though, so they're they're pretty much gonna have to settle for that. Hope that uh, the two car, which I think Workman was trying to see if he get it there, he's really good at that. I, could, I know from racing him, it's just you make a hole, he'll he'll just get there, right there. You know, hope the two car slips up, maybe pick them off one by one on the roll line. I think the 42 uh, is actually a little slow, like uh, more said here because. If you watch him into the turn, it looked like he has uh, too much of a stable setup. It'll push him up towards the middle lane, and uh, it just slows you down a lot when you have too much of a stable setup around his stretch. Well, he's lost the front five. Yes, he has. The three's gonna make a run again. Again, he's gonna try. I mean, these these guys. Oh, the twelve Ooh. on the apron. The thing is, is, is you see these guys that can be bad one of these times. That's not going to go well one of these times. Yeah, that's going to snap them loose and wreck the whole field at some point, but maybe not. Right now, I think if you're the four, your best bet's probably sticking with your Ford buddies and not helping the Chevy out because you're not going anywhere with those three lined up on the bottom. It's just not going to happen. Well, I mean, he's in the money spot. You want to be on the low line. He's in fifth. The money spot right now is the two car and the four car on the restart. Hey, guys, give me one second real quick. I'm going to step out here for a second. Now the real, real question is, tire strategy. Anybody gonna play something, you know, in the back, you know? I don't think so. Tires. I mean, I've never lost a race here because of tires. I know, but these front four, these front five might take four. Some in the back, obviously two. They jump ahead. They've got 11 laps to go on the stage. I'm not. 100% sure if they can make it or not because I haven't seen what the fuel window is. But I would imagine it's about a 22 or 23 lap stage. I don't know if they'd be able to make that on times three where. I don't know, but the four car got the back of the three wrong, got loose there. So uh, there goes that. The three, <laughs> that's gonna, that's it. The three tries to back off to give it, let him, nope. Over. Nope, that's going to be it. The three car breakaway. The three car breakaway of the two, the 12, I'm sorry, the 12 of Tiggs leading the 14 of Jake the Snake, followed by the two of Mindflaw. And who is this they're catching? Is that the 42? They're catching somebody. Who is the 42? The 42 has massive front end damage. Something happened to him. Hello. I'm not seeing the damage, but I believe you. He must have gotten in a wreck and... <laughs> it's to the hit, left front, Cole. Hit, left front. Hit pit road and, and tried to fix it. Let's if we can get on board with the 42 and see any damage. Now this, this right here is what Workman needed with the four car, but uh, timing was off, I guess. Wow. Oh, the 42. Oh, oh the 42. wow. More and, trouble. I mean, I now he's got damage. I have to say, though. Yes, he does. I do have to say, though, the three car was in every right there as being a lead lap. I don't know what the 42 was thinking. He uh, went up the track and then decided to try to block the fourth place car. Um, it's, he was just trying to keep the speed up and be all right and it didn't work out they've got about four laps of fuel left in these things max so we're gonna see green flag pit stops pretty soon here 
Did the yeah. um, 42 catch the pack, or what, what happened? There? No, he wrecked no, somewhere. We're not entirely sure how. Went down a lap on pit road, got it fixed, came back out, and then just wrecked again. Not entirely sure what was going on there, but the four-car breakaway at the front of the field is absolutely gone. They're going to be making green flag pit stops soon. Oh, the 12, the 12, the 12, oh, wow. The 14 is very committed to him. The teammates. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely well, committed I, to each other. I 100%. I think they're going to be pitting this, this lap or the next. That was probably their signal right there. I don't know. Yeah, no, they're not I only say that because the 14 car. I can guarantee you this, the, they'll be in uh, one of the next two. Oh wow! Really moving it up the track there. The only problem about restrictor plate races is that you're always on that yellow apron, so you can't really signal when you're gonna go pit. I tend to duck underneath the line a car length or two to try to let people know, almost like a hand out the window type deal. But it is hard to. 14 looked like he was looking there for a minute. I should have known better. Um, but it is hard to let people I, know. I think most of them I have just, communication with one another though. I just uh, turn left off of four and lock the brakes up and hope we make it. Yeah, yeah, that's the best bet. <laughs> totally Here they come, and they're oh, wrecking the, all the two. Oh, the two. And the 14 oh, and the 12. Oh, no. And disastrous, disastrous. Oh, somebody missed pit road. I believe that's going to be a caution. Gonna a caution. Yeah, we're, we're going to get a caution, caution for that, here. thank goodness. And disaster. And that's going to hand the lead over to the three car. With Who seven to go. made it onto pit road prior to the caution coming out. Wow, he snuck onto pit road as disaster strikes for the 2, the 12, and the 14 there. The top three cars entered pit road. They were just too close. And that's that's a danger. That's unfortunate. Definitely the best three cars so far in the race. And mind flaws, bad luck, just cover. continues. Yeah, he pounded that inside wall hard. Yeah. He just turned straight left. Yeah, he's very lucky that this game gives you about 19 lives. Well, it gives you an infinite amount of lives. But <laughs> very, very lucky. The 14 just seemed to got sandwiched there. And so the I three finds his way to the lead. Now the leader. How about that, boys? <laughs> but, oh, I mean, goodness. Here they go. Player up here, the 22. So uh, did the 42 get the free pass? Uh, that is a good question. I believe the 42 would have gotten the free pass, but that depends on if other people had pit, and I was not sure if anybody else had pit. I think everybody on the lead lap pit. I'm not, well, see, here's the thing. There wouldn't have been any wave rounds because of workmen technically staying out. But I don't think that anybody was a lap down besides the 42, so, so he would have gotten the lucky two? dog. This is, this is three to go, coming to two to go. Three in to stage go. one. Okay, so Coming to two to go, and the two twenty-two four, I think, are going to be making a move on that three car soon. Oh yeah. Oh. They're going to get jumbled up. The apron, the two, the and they're wreck, wrecking the big wreck. wreck. Oh wreck. goodness, there's your big Massive one. Wreck. Oh, big huge one. hit to the outside wall. Smokes the outside wall. Wow. Talladega strikes again. Well, that's the end of stage. <laughs> end of stage Man. one. The two and the 21 snuck down pit road. How about that? The three car. I don't think they snuck down pit road. I guarantee the two car didn't sneak down pit road. He entered pit road backwards. Okay. And, well, uh, he managed to get on pit road. So. <laughs> 21 got shot down pit road. So, I mean, yeah, they got lucky there. But, uh. Okay, Huge so wreck, right? right now the lucky dog is going to go to Reeser in the 10. I was very wrong. There are multiple cars a lap down, apparently. Um, so the 10th place car of Reeser in the 10, he'll get the lucky dog. 11th is Marty. And I think that might be the size of the field itself. I could be wrong on that. I'll count. I think it's 11 cars. Two car gets off pit road. Check out the damage on some of the other cars. Although we can't really see it. If I was at 42, I'd drop my wedge all the way. <laughs> this car looks tight in there in every turn. Right, here they go. 
Yeah, it looks like it's an 11 car field. So everybody's back on the lead lap now except for the 88. Sorry, the three and the 43 are going to be our one, two, but the two is going to move back into second place. We we'll head off into three. Back in the back. Into one, excuse me. Yeah, I'm interested to see if everybody tries to stay up there this time instead of getting spread out again like they were, because that had to have been a long 27 laps for everybody else that wasn't in the top five, top six, and eventually the top four. I'm very interested in to see the 12 car, the four car, I'm sorry, the 14 car and the 2 car try to make the way up. As the 12 car, he is almost last. Alright? Like, he is at the very back of this pack right now. That is us. Yeah, no, that was the 88. Gets into one. the 42. I'm going to ride on board with the 12 car if I can catch him here. Just want to see how he takes these, this next lap and a half or two. See what he does. Yep. And uh, nothing, you know, the four car shot himself out. So now we're going to have the 14 and two are hooked up again. The 14, two and 22 are going to be the three cars behind the three car. As the four car is going to fall out of line. And he is going to lose a lot of spots. They're definitely trying to stay clumped together. Though. A lot of them. Oh, I think he got the wall. Yeah, the four car Man. got the wall there. Did a good job of not coming back oh, down the line. 22 the 22 the wall, gets the wall. The wall. Does a good track. job. The, Looks oh, like the 19's up here getting loose, too. Oh, wow. We got... Wow. Got a little and the 12, sketchy there the for a minute. Chance. My goodness. That was sketchy. That was definitely sketchy. Let's check on the 19 of Fujimo. See how... How his car looks. It looks all right. I think he just lost a draft in the first run there. The high line yeah, here, the 2, the 14, no. and the 19 trying to make a move on the Chevys on like the bottom. That low line they, has been split up a little bit. 21 is moving to the top two. They got another one, and here comes the 12 behind Ooh, The 21 got 21 tight. Oh, and he 12. takes out the 12. Boom! Into the end Oh, no. no is there no yellow? caution for that? No caution. No caution for that. I'm wow. amazed. That's a Huge. bad break for the 12. Huge. He'll be back for Good stage three. I can just about guarantee you that. Watching the 19 the all though, over the 14, who's all over the two. They're trying to get that moving. Oh, the 43 got a little loose off of two. That's going to break their draft up, and that's it. The three car. Do they drop down? They're not clear yet. Oh, the Fords are going to hang them. him out. Oh, but the oh. Cannon, one oh no. That. I think we're going to see a caution. That's got to be a caution. As, uh, nothing yet. Nothing yet. These guys are still going full speed around this track. No caution. No. Wow. No, no caution. And all of a sudden, stage two looks a lot different than stage one. But well, the two, the it looks the same the as well because it's a five-car breakaway this time because of accidents that should have uh, definitely should have been yellow flags. But it's a whole cars, new please. set of five up there besides the two, the fourteen, and the three. So oh, yeah, you cars. have <laughs> yeah the forty-three and the nineteen are gonna try to. Uh, you know, Nineteen's trying to make a move right that kind of surprises me. I think the 19 has a better card than the 43, and I think he knows it. He might. The That's not going to do him any good run. right now. Mine flaws out front leading another race. The three car looking high. No one's going to go with him. That surprises me. No, the 43 is going to try to go with him, but the 14 did a good job of blocking the run, and now it's too late. Mindflaw just wants to win a damn race. He's been, he's been close. He dominated Bristol, and we saw what happened. Mindflaw's the number two car, right? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, he wants to put that two car in victory lane. I can tell you that after that Bristol race, he was. Uh, he should have won the Bristol you know, race. 
no I'm offense disappointed with that result to the you eventual know, winner mean, you know i mean there's 12 like coming on the track off pit road here Woo! Oh my goodness that was close uh you know situations happen people lose races but uh that two car was a uh was untouchable at bristol and uh, yeah he was gone in the third coming off turn but, two with uh, 20 laps to go in stage two that three car wants to say that i can win anywhere and everywhere Mind flaw, Jake the Snake, Fajimo, Cody Workman in fourth trying to make a move. Think about that. Eight Nothing. races, four wins. He's got half of the wins that he's made starts in. Missing like one race. Yeah, I don't think that surprises Ooh. anybody, though. I mean, the kid's fast. He's always been fast. Anybody that plays oh, a game and races Ooh. with him, especially on defaults, knows he's fast. I mean, got to give him credit. He's, he's one of the better people. He definitely deserved to be top definitely. 50, which he was. And I would, I would say he's top 20, right top 25, team. easily. And these other guys are good, too. Heck yeah. That two car is looking pretty good out front. And mine flaw has been consistent yeah, towards great, the front every week. Great side draft by the three car right there. Yeah, it was beautiful. Broke the 14 and two up for a second. Just didn't have the help with him, though. Jake the Snake in the 14 is having a good run. He's been top he five ran, pretty much all week, but he's having a good run here today. He has ran second place all day pretty much. And I do have to say out of the guys out front, he has had the smoothest line. I would agree. Other than the three. He's been damn near perfect. No, I mean, with the three, not other than the three, with the three. The three has obviously had not as smooth of a line because he's over there making moves. But other guys just sitting, he has been so smooth, just right on the bottom. That's why I knew that pit stop was coming out. Because well, I you could that tell that the 2, that the 12, wrong. and the 14 had a plan coming in here, and they were executing it mm -hmm. perfectly until that pit road incident. But now the 2 and the 14 are still out front, so they can still do it. Definitely. And yeah. as I was going to say, I could tell when they came into 1 late in that run on stage 1, that 14 car slipped up the track. I knew he was slipping through his stuff. I knew it. Trying to check check out the back through the field here. The 42 car... I'm not 100% sure where he's running. I want to say 8th place. 10 car of Reeser. You saw the accident he got in. And they caught a bad break with these accidents not bringing out yellows. I'm not entirely sure why they didn't bring out yellows, but it is what it is. It comes with the game. It's part of the, part of the deal. Everybody plays by the same rules, so... 88, 4 and the 12 back here. Got a little three car pack. Yeah, kind of like gambling, you know. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. And uh, it's kind of. A lot of times you are, don't. You know, it. Most of the time, 90% <laughs> you know. of the time, you don't get lucky. That's just how it is. You're right. I mean, Speaking from experiences with cautions, you usually get the better deal out of it than I do, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ha I've won me a couple plate races over the years. The yeah, ones that, the ones that counted too, anyway. Ooh. You know, I pride myself yeah, in know. being the only driver in, in the Impact League to have won all three season openers at Daytona, so... Yeah, that's a really uh, good accomplishment, you know. I think I got myself one. It's that Talladega Xfinity Series. They're sportsmen, sorry. You know. Well, you remember, that's it surprised car, me though. because going into that first season when I won the 500, I don't think I'd ever won a plate race in a league before in all the leagues I've ran. So I was pretty surprised. I also won Talladega oh, that year in the cup car, too. So it was a weird year. We just winning everything. Meanwhile, out front, the top five are still pulling away. I can't wait to hit the track again. I can't either. It's been a while. It's been a while watching all the racing. It's making me want to race. Yes, and I get my is. fill on iRacing, but it's just not the same. You know, this game's fun. People can talk crap on it all they want. It's fun. It's enjoyable to play. If you're expecting it to be perfect, then you're going to be disappointed, obviously, but you shouldn't expect anything to be perfect. So. I do have to say, I think the... Uh I think the best thing about it is, you know, you got a group of guys that you, know, you just have a lot of fun with. You enjoy, you know. That's it. Racing and it's with. really stress-free for the most part. 
Mm-hmm. You have a couple moments, you know, but other than that, no. It's good. Yeah. Just gotta have that, that group. Once you find him, though, you'll notice them. This five car pack out front is absolutely gone. And then you look around the track, and I mean, there's two car partnerships going on, a little three car group here, there. I can tell you one thing. If you. The one car that you do not, absolutely do not want behind you in second place in stage three, if you're leading, is the three car. He has spent stage one making moves on the outside, spent stage two making moves on the outside. If, if, As he gets knows, under the 19 here, that was a good move right there. The 19 went up to look like block yes, the run the three was getting or take the run with him. And it allowed the three and to do the crossover and get by. I can tell you, making these runs, figuring out where the car needs to get the best run, it, he's just testing, man. Yeah. He's out here just testing. Well, that's all you're doing in these plate races. You're just you're you're figuring out your game plan for the first 93, mm -hmm. however many laps you got before the white flag, and then when the white flag hits, I'll take that back until about four to five laps to go, and then four to five laps to go, you know, then it's then it's go time. And there's really no need to. Situation. Look at this run. This is a huge run by the three car. Wow. And he's trying to make it happen, and he might this time if the 43 stays with him. They're going to do the yeah, same no, thing to the I Fords that the Fords did to them. Yeah, but the 43 ditched him. The 43 him at ditched the last him. Second, and that's going to kill it. But uh, That surprises me. That does. You know, you see. Very, uh. I don't know, man, you know. That really yeah, surprises that me. Line. Look at the it's a drag the race down the back know. straightaway, but the bottom line is going to get the run going into the corner. Mm -hmm. the top line might be able to keep the speed through the center of the corner. 43 and uh, it's not going to work though. Close and that broke him up, and that's just going to kill it. And 43 moves his way up to third. No, three car gets right back underneath him. I'll take that spot back, sir. Thank you. 12 car led, I don't know, pretty much off stage one, right? Yeah. Until the Sitting back here in seventh place, I believe. No. Yeah, I think that's seventh. It's seventh or eighth. One of the two. I think it's seventh. I believe the four is sixth. 12 is seventh. I don't know this for sure. I'll tell you what, we'll know when they re-rack them for stage three. Yeah, that I know. They've got about five laps of fuel left in the thing. They're not going to make it, so I expect green flag pit stops pretty soon. I don't think they're going to try to come down all together again. Here comes another run. Three to the high side. Now, I'm going to see if he can beat him. Oh, the 19's going to go three wet, never mind. close race to the line. That would have been insanely close. That would have been pretty cool. I, I know. On board with the 19, all over the three. And this, look at that. The first thing Here's the run. With them, and that is massive. It's a huge run. I need to get down power. now, and they do. It's going to slip back into the lead. The three oh, my them. goodness. Our stage one winner, our points leader, got four wins this season. Looking like a uh, true contender for the... Uh, title looking like possibly he's just got it out the gate i mean you can't argue with those numbers no no can't argue with the stat sheets and realistically he could probably have five or six because he should have won i would say back at texas, texas. and yep. he wasn't at bristol so we'll never know i don't want to say he could have won that race but you got any reasonable logical person would say he would have had a shot because he has a shot anywhere he goes so Mm-hmm. Who knows? He's leading right now. <laughs> spot he's used to. Carrying the flag. This is the worst spot to be leading, though. And spot, I, mean, I don't know. I like leading. Track. I like leading at the plate you tracks. Know, it's, it's all right, but you got second and third get formulated, man, and they'll just leave you. That last lap, man, you know, you said... You sit there and game plan for lap 93 and 94, that's why. If yeah. Them guys behind you, man, if they make that move, it's over. 
Well, second and third is where you. Uh, I mean, in my opinion, that's where you'd want to be. I can't, I can't give away all my tricks, but we have done races before, and I have seen other people do this before. I didn't come up with this, obviously, but there is ways, if you're the leader on the white flag, to pretty much gridlock the field so they can't get that run. And I've done it. Um, there's video that you can see of me doing it. I'm not going to tell you where it is because I don't want everybody to learn how to do it, but there is ways to block the run and not be a sitting duck. Um when they're too wide lined up like this. When they're lined up like this, it's a little bit harder. But if you're too wide, three wide, four rows deep, two rows deep, whatever, with one lap to go, you can literally pace how fast the field's going to go and dictate the run. You And, and they're, they're stuck. They can't go anywhere. Oh, definitely. The problem is when they single file, and that's how most of these races go. But like right now. Look at the two. Three wide. They're going to do it. Going to Here he comes. It's going to give the lead up to the two, and the 14 goes back to second. Fajimo in the 19 to third. Who's that coming off pit road? They zoomed by him way too quick. Oh, it's 88. Marty. Shaping up to be a good race. We got the three car. Taking a can in no tires. So that should answer your question you asked me earlier about tires. Yeah, it's a short run though. That's a good point. He was also speeding on pit road. So we gotta... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that doesn't answer your question, bud. The rest of it, and the two car pounds the inside wall again. The 19 pounds the outside wall, and I think that's a caution. Huge mistake on the three. We're not under yellow. I can no, hear him still gunning it up. We're not under yellow. That's not good. We'll be under yellow soon because there's five to go on the stage, but that's not good for the two or the 19. That's the second green flag pit stop where the two has hit that inside wall. Hard enough to end anybody's race, so... So now I'm going to switch to the presumable leader here as we come back around with the trouble with some people, and that's going to be the 43 who you saw pit behind the three car. <laughs> he did not speed, so there he is. Comes around, everyone. Take He's going to want to make his pit stop pretty soon here, though. He's already pit. He did. He pit with the three. Okay. And he passed the four there, and there is, I believe that's the 14 ahead of him coming off the pit road. That should be the race for the lead. If that is the 14, I might be mistaken. That might not be. I know it's a Ford. I can't tell. Uh, it looks like it might be Ooh, a 21. The 12 just made contact with the wall. Oh, we have uh, a yellow flag. Carlos was with him. Yeah, that was the wreck I just watched happen. And, uh... Well... I believe that's going to give us a green-white checkered for the stage. Well, we had five to go on the stage, but your leader was actually the 14. The 14. Uh, that's, uh... It's Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake. That's right. Mine flaws actually, and Workman was running fourth at the time. Jigsaw is in fifth. JPR in the 22-6. Tig seventh. Fajimo, eighth. Sticky, ninth. Marty in the 88, 10th, one lap down. So we're going to re-rack them. And I believe there's going to be two laps to go on this stage. Well, there's been well that got confusing. Yeah, As, uh, he goes to 14. Okay. I believe this is yeah one lap to go on the stage right here this is it as you can tell in the back these yeah, are <laughs> yeah they're going for, for it they are going for it right now 14's got a good shot at it though he's got the two car pushing him well, oh my goodness the 12 and the 4 got into each other the 4 got into the outside wall 
Looks like they've I got it hemmed up. Take this stage. And, yep, I think uh, the 14's got it. Mr. Smooth, Jake the Snake. Gonna be our stage two victor. As long as the two car doesn't get under him. Oh, triangle, he's not gonna make a move. Not gonna happen. Nobody's gonna make a move. Ride it out. Rack him up again. And that's a... Wow. Man, how about Kyle Busch and them uh, 200 wins? Yeah, how about Kyle Busch and those 200 wins? Kid's amazing. I've been, I've been a fan of him since I was seven years old. It's crazy to see that, especially nowadays. It's like seven championships. It's very weird. So, we've got 40 laps to go right now. They're gonna pro if it was to go green, they can get about 20 laps of fuel. So you could split it if it goes green. I don't think it's going to go green. <laughs> I just don't see that happening. You got the 14 yeah. lead and the 2, the 43, the 3, the 4, the 22, the 19, the 42. 88's back on the lead lap. And then Jigsaw back in 10th. And I believe we lost somebody. The 10. There you go. Green flag's out. All right. Everybody's car looks brand new again. It's a miracle. That's not going to last for long? No. Give it a minute. <laughs> well, yeah. The, uh, the time for patience is slowly going out the window. The 12 is back in the picture. Yes, he is. Moving by for fourth. Look at the 88. Back on the lead lap. He's going to move yeah, to the top the five. The car is just being... He's being hung Pretty out. In the four, here. doors the 42, up into the wall. And the 19, if he doesn't Trying to squeeze in there, and he's getting mistake. trained. Oh, That's lag. Oh, lag. lag. The, the 14, 14 lag. lag. That's a lag. That big wreck. Kill the back of the pack. That's got to be a caution. <laughs> That's got to be a caution. It's like everybody's car is playing now. And it is. It is a caution. It's definitely a caution. Okay. Wow. You know who got through that without a scratch? The three car. Yeah. Well. He drove through the whole thing. Not a scratch. I can tell you this. To be the leading in points, to win races, to uh, win championships, takes skill. <laughs> takes a lot of luck. Well, it takes luck to win at a play track, too. Anytime. Yeah, <laughs> Anytime. So. Being at the right place at the right time, it doesn't matter what, oh, sure. I'll be you're doing or what you're racing. It's always going to be that because like, it happens so fast on the racetrack that if a guy just spins in front of you, there's nothing you can really do about it. Except just sit there. All right, yeah. we're going to rack him up again, and here we go. Two cars still got the lead, the 14 to his outside. They got single file pretty quick that time. Doesn't look like they want to mess around too much. Two being shoved by the 19 of Fujimo. Workman right behind him in that three car. 22 of JPR up towards the front in the top five for the first time in the race. JPR. I haven't yeah. really seen him much. I haven't seen him at all. Won a few weeks and ago at Texas. Right. This was a little bit of net code in that race too, wasn't it, Texas? Uh, I believe he did have a little bit of net code in that race. 
That was a good race, though. Workman dominated the first half of it. And Workman dominated the whole thing, and then on that last pit stop, he took two tires, and the rest of the field took four, and that's that's what cost him that. Yeah. It's another thing. Racing is a lot of guessing games, too. 22. Looks like he's trying to make a move and get around. No, he's going to need someone to go with him. I don't think he's going to bait Workman off the bottom. Oh, the bottom line had a huge checkup. It's going to open some room on the top line for a run. Yeah, it's allowing the 4 and the 42 to have a huge run. It's not going to go anywhere, though. Back at the 43s under the yellow line. One car. Haven't seen him much, but I haven't seen him wreck either, so watch out for him. He's done a good job of kind of hanging on here. Now we're getting towards the end of the race. Might see him start making some moves. Try to make some oh, noise. Yeah. He hasn't had very many opportunities to make much noise. For sure, your plate races never turn out to be good at the finish line. <laughs> we'll see. Mind flaw leading for Gimo second and a big hit for the 43 right there. And they're still wrecking on the front straightaway. The 42's around. The 4's in the wall. The 43 hit the outside wall a ton. Yeah, that was a hard hit. And that's going to be a caution. Wow. Wow. It was a hard hit. I wish I had replays. I think you're going to have to find a new driver for that because that car is going to be... 29 laps to go. They're all going to pit now. They still can't make it. They're not in the window to go green. So... Hmm. I don't know. It's going to be... I don't think that's the last caution. Right Probably won't be. But it's antsy towards the end of these races, so. All right. Workman on the outside with the 19 on the inside. I want to see how long these guys wait to get this top line going again before it gets single file. Because once the top line's gone, it's hard to get it back going. But if you can keep it. Three ducks right to the bottom. That was a good move. The 88 yes, gets moved up, and he sideways saved it. 42 did a good job of not getting into him. 22's ducking to the outside. Nothing there. He's got his teammate mindful well, on the might, two behind him. Might see a little bit of moves from the uh, two here soon. As you just mentioned, though, they are teammates, so... Here they go. There go. They're going to try to make a run. They got the 14 behind them. That's another teammate. The 12's going with them. Oh. The Fords are all lining up. Four of them. Oh, no, the two got out of line. So that breaks their draft. The They've got another Ford coming. We go 12, let the They're going to regroup. <laughs> got to regroup. That didn't quite work. Yeah, Here they go again. Getting runs on the outside. It's got to be like a piece of driftwood just going over water. It's got to be real smooth. Here they go again. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The four are trying to get up here and join the train of Fords. It's got to get around the 42 first. We're gonna, how many green play pit stops are we going to have? One. Okay, that Maybe. green play pit stop. Yes, okay. So if we can stay green, hit a green play pit stop, and it stays green, that is going to be a crucial stop because... 
As it's going to be a two tire half a you know half a tank kind of stop. Yep. Getting on pit road first though. You want to be on pit road first with some people because that. Yeah, you want to be on there quick and you want to be on there with a group. If you get hung out and you pit by yourself or with two cars, you're in trouble. That's going to draw some speeding penalties too. Though. That's going to be an. You could see it. it happen to the three in the last stage who is just shoving the 19 right now. The 42 right behind him moving up to third. The four to fifth. Or fourth. 88 to fifth. Pit stops have not been fun. Nope. Hasn't worked yet. But, uh. Checking up. This is getting racy here in stage three. I'm getting invites to go race. Excuse that, folks. I ain't got time right now, Eddie. The 19's loving it. He's getting shoved <laughs> by one of the fastest guys. Probably the fastest guy behind him. I know that 12 car did show some speed early on. He just hasn't been able to crawl his way back to the top. There's a lot of fast guys in the field. Looking at the 42 and the 88 right now. You haven't seen them towards the front at all. Here they are. I was about to just mention that the 88. Yeah, you haven't really seen them much. And the ones up here too. Mentioned him earlier. We're the all back just we lined up. 12 the, got shuffled out of line. 14 is towards the back. Yeah, he got shuffled up in that high groove, too. I think yeah. him and the 12 are trying to get hooked up and go. I'm going to need the 22 and the 21 back there to get with them. They're kind of falling off a little bit. Here goes the 12 again. And the 2 is going to go up in front of him. And the 14 is going to follow them. You're going to need somebody up towards the front here. Maybe the four car to sneak up there as well. I think get enough cars, like five or six up there, they could definitely pull the line, but I don't see it happening in the three cars. Well, it's got to start in the top five. Really, the top three. Yeah. You got to pull that run with everybody else up there. It's hard to get it going from the back. It's almost impossible, really, unless you've got a really fast race car, a really fast couple race cars. They're trying, though. They're trying. Got the 43 up there leading the train now. 12 pushing him. 14, the 2, the 22, and the 21. They're all trying. Got to give them credit. One car moves his way back up to sixth. I like how they all grouped up together. It's like they're just showing us, you know, we could race in a big group. They're running now. They're single file, but they're running. Yeah, there's a lot it's of not spread action. out anymore. The three is just shoving the 19. Nobody's going to get around that duo. I'm just waiting to see the three duck out. Be interested to see if the 42 goes with him. 42 goes underneath the yellow line there actually gets back up no harm no foul Oof, the four check you know I'm wondering to see what like the mid pack guys are gonna do because you know, as the lights light start to wind down, they might want to move their position up towards the front and get a shot towards, like, second or third, you know. Or first, maybe. It's almost easier to get on someone's bumper coming out of the corner and loosen them up, get underneath them on the straightaway, than it is to pass them on the high line. They got 19 to go. It's 42, back underneath the online again. They've still got a little bit of time to ride. They've also got to make a pit stop. So I think they're just worried about getting to that at the moment. Yeah, if I'm the 12, the 14, the 2, the 22, I'm uh, pit, I'm going to pit a lap before these guys, and I'm going to try my our best to get on pit road clean, off pit road clean, get linked up, and try to jump them as they can. You know, if they're getting up to speed, you come around that full speed lap, man. You make up a lot of time. For sure. In this moment, uh, this moment, point in time right now, if the caution was to come out, they can make it from there, from here. So, 
I'm kind of hoping it stays green, but at the same time, I mean, either way, I think we're going to get a good finish. Yeah, it'll be a good finish. I believe so. The one's just going to get trained. It's like he went to the outside. It just wasn't working out. I think he tried to get some people to go with him. It wasn't going to happen. He's way up the racetrack. Yeah, at this point in the race, it's pretty much every man for himself. I disagree. I think those Fords got a plan. They're just waiting. Well, yeah, the Fords have been uh, coming through the pack. Is that the 12 in fifth place? Yes. Yeah, he was in the back last time I looked at him, and that's the 14 right behind him. Yeah, they were towards the back. They're making their way to the front. I didn't even see that. Oh, is the 42 just chops the 12? Up the track, 12 tries to make a move. And oh, the 21's uh, really loose on the bottom. They're three wide, and this is going to be a wreck. There it goes. This is, there it goes. This is going to bring out the caution, and, uh, or is it? Oh, no. Doesn't look like the caution is going to come out. Wow. And that is pretty much going to hand the race to the 19 and 3 to the side. I think the 43 is stuck on the track. There it goes. I can't believe there was no caution. So yeah, that pretty that much, big. yeah, yeah, that pretty, I mean, I don't know, the 2, the 12, and the 22, if they can get lined up. Which they are. Yeah, they're going to catch them. Um, we still got that green flag pit stop. And we still got that green flag stop, and <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Here they come. Yep, they got him. Let's try to do it on the high side. Ooh, no! Oh, that's not going to work! That's not going to work! Oh it's my goodness! Did a good job wow. saving it, though. Yep. Yeah, that was just, that wasn't going to work out. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No way, Jose. That wasn't happening. I think the three is like... He, he's scared for the, the run to go because there's three cars, but... At the same time, he's got to guard that low line. Well, the three is going to block hard, and I can tell you... Well, the three is going to stick with the with the 19, because that's his only friend right now. Everybody else is a Ford, so... Yep, you... If you're the two-car, you got to bring him pretty much to the top of the track, dart down to the bottom, and then hold your position when he comes down and hold it. You know, and that I've, might work. I've done it. Might. I've done it. It's... It's hard. And, but wow, we're gonna go three wide here. I think that's really gonna. Hurt Why right not? Whoa, the three is gonna go to the lead. The nineteen is the slow. Pace. He's very slow. Did What's he run out of gas? What happened? I don't I think don't so. Think he he should have had at least eight laps of gas left. But he might be coming to pit road. Yeah, he is coming to yeah. pit road. And that's not a good move, bud. That it's not a good move. Oh, and he's still sideways getting on there. I'm going to stick yeah, with him see how long this pit stop is, man. I don't know. I don't like this move. I would have waited and pit with everybody else. You got about eight, seven laps of gas left, maybe. And the caution might have came out. Now it's probably not going to, but... 
Well, chances are he's not going to pull a lap down. So he's already got to pick up. He shouldn't, so but he's still going to lose all that time. I don't think he's going to be a part of that pack anymore, which is really going to leave the three as a sitting duck because the, he's the only one who's not a Ford, and he's won four races. He's working it, though. He's trying so hard. He's trying so hard uh -huh. to fight those Fords, and he's not going to have to do it any longer. Oh, my goodness, they're going to get into him. Oh, and they're wrecking. They're wrecking. Big wreck at the front. 12 is well, in a spin cycle. just spinning. It's back on the track. And, oh, uh, my. No caution. Another no caution. No caution. This and, game is uh, just in rare form tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. No caution. Seven to four games. If you're listening, you got to fix this nonsense. I believe <laughs> that is going to turn the lead over to Mind Flaw. Well, he needs some luck. Might have just been Fujimo's best friend in the 19. But yeah, Mind Flaw. <laughs> Mind Flaw is leading. Workman in second. JPR in the 22 third. The 88 of Marty is in fourth. And the one car of Brave June Bags up to fifth. And the two cars got a big lead, but the three and the 22 are going to run them down. Probably not yes, before yeah. they pit, though. How many laps do we have left? Uh, ten to go. Okay. Coming to nine to go. And yeah, this so, is, uh... Well, this is turned... Does the team have the gas to stretch? No. no. He'll be down any minute, Everyone's but now it's going to be a no... It's going to be a no-tire, you know, quarter-tank type situation, I believe. The, uh... Two-car is driving down this track with every toe crossed, every finger crossed. See, because, if I was uh, him, I would have pit sooner because those guys are catching you anyways. Yep, I would have pit the first lap I would have pit as soon as that wreck happened and all the breakup happened I would have just went down pit road and got it over with yeah so see, that's I agree because they're catching you anyway you might as well get that part out of the way mm -hmm. cause you don't want to pit as a group because if you pit as a group and they somehow be able to jump up on you you know I, with the exit or entrance or maybe just their pit stops a little better so they get a little you know get off pit road sooner it's He's just, not coming you, down you this time either. Road. Another no, lap, and those two are going to be there. Him. No, they're going to catch him in turn two. Turn two? Yeah, okay, you're right. Not even a lap. Turn one. Turn one. All right. They're here. <laughs> the draft is real. And, are they going to uh, go anywhere with the run? Three, three cars outside, going high. The 22 is going to stay with him. Yep. 22 Teammates. Said, yeah, you thought. You Teammates. Thought. Oh, goodness. That got close. Yeah, you had to know that was going to happen. Yep. Now what? You still got to hit pit road. It's gonna or no, be they don't have to hit pit road, do they? Because, no, the caution didn't come out. That's right. So they do have to hit pit road. Big red. Oh, the 22 oh. doors, the three. It's not going to lose the draft, though. They're catching the 43. Yeah, the 22 just came up into the door of the three. He did a great job of not getting into the wall. Yeah, he did. Try to get around the 43 car here. We'll see if the three works with the 43 instead. No. No. He's going to try to get under the 22. It's just... Oh. He's there. Oh, he's giving him the bumper. Oh, he's wow. giving him the this bumper a ton. <laughs> battling there. That was six or seven times. 22 wow, did a great job of not. did a fantastic job of not wrecking. Yeah, that was, that was impressive. I mean, he had him all kinds of sideways. That's unbelievable. I can tell you the 22 and the 3 are not going to be seeing eye to eye after this race. Probably not. Because you see them just jockeying for a position with the 
The 22 needs to stick to the bottom. It needs to not play these games. Stay with your friend. To get under him. If he allows that three to get under him and something happens with them playing them games and he gets shot in the wall and the three part makes it with the two, that's not good. Here they come down there pit road. Here, Here they, they come. Oh, the two gets the three. Ooh, the three gets Again. The two the wall. Every green flag pit stop. Big wreck. And the every, three is going to continue. Every green flag pit stop. Three for three. That two car has gotten hit and sent into the inside wall. And that was a case of the three not seeing him coming down and getting into him. And I think that's going to ruin both their races. Yeah, um, I'm on board the three car here. Um, I believe the 22 car is going to be the pit. People that 22 is coming leader. off pit road right now with the two behind him. The one and the 88. That just got them. They were about three seconds behind the, the front three. And now they're right there. And here comes the 14 oh, as yeah. well. Look at the 14. Wow. All right, three's on pit road. Wow. 21 and 19, I'm pres presuming I've already pit. Yeah, the 19 and definitely there. already pit. Yep, I don't know what the 21, so 21 might be our leader. No. No, it's the three. The three is the leader at the moment, and he just handed it over to the 22. All right. Three car making his pit stop. He's coming out here. I don't believe the 14's on the lead lap. I could be wrong about that. The 22 passed him right there. That's our that's our change for the lead. And there's not many laps to go either. Oh, by the way, we're coming to well, three laps to go. We're coming to three to go. The 14 is uh he's on the lead a lap massive run a massive run with 22 here i didn't think he was but he is here he comes a two no a excuse two. me he's not he's not he's not on the lead lap but he is teammates with the two and the 22 so this is about to get interesting three to go right here 22 trying to get a second one on the season hasn't won since Texas that was only three weeks ago so it hasn't been long he's got a good yeah, shot at it right now with two teammates behind him he struck gold in Texas got himself a win you know stole a win and today you know really trying to do it again in the first stage and uh, here he is you know trying to do it again down here in Talladega, Alabama trying to do it again He's got a good shot. His teammate in the 14 is a lap down. He's got no reason to try to get out of line because he can't win the race. But he does as soon as I say that. My goodness. Yeah, we can pop second. See now. Went right back down. Did we get a caution? No, never mind. That was just them swerving. It's two to go. Okay. <clears throat> See now, if I'm a two car, I'm just like, hey man, can you just uh, let, let us settle this one? So the 22 is the leader? Right? 22 is the leader. 14 is a lap down. Mind flaw in the two cars in second place. June bag in the one is in third. And then the 88 of Marty is in fourth. We're coming to the white flag. What's going to happen? What are they going to do? Yeah, if I was the 14, I'd just get go. out of the line and let them handle their business. 22 needs to just hold it and hope that 14 stays there. Yeah. They're catching a lapper. Yep, here's the 42. What's the 42 going to do? Twenty-two is going to go high on him. The 14 oh, trying to split four. him. He didn't go with him. Oh, no, 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 no. no. The two is going to have a run. The two is going to have a run, but I think that just gave it to the 22 car. The two is going to have a run here. I think that just gave it away. You know who's going to have a run is the one in the 88. Yeah, but they're not going to be able to get it together, and the 22 is going to win the race. 22 has definitely got this in the bag, I believe. Come to the tri-oval. 
And he does. Yes, Second he does. win on the season for JPR. What a great, what a great way to win. What a race. And wow. Talk about just being one of the luckiest guys out there today. I mean. Heck of a job by him. Incident, heck of a job by him. But that pit road incident between the two and the three car happened right next to him, right behind him. And he didn't get touched. No. Nope. He did a good job all day getting on and off pit road. He did a good job staying towards the front in the end of the stage. And... Really off stage three. Final order, race, the though. 22, the 2, the 1, the 88. Followed by the 3 of Workman, won both the stages. Jigsaw in the, didn't win both the stages, excuse me. The 14 won the second one. The Jigsaw in 6, the 21, the 19. And the leaderboard's gone, but that is your top 10. There it is. Excuse me, that was your top 9. And it was sticky, and the 42 was 10th. Followed by Jake the Snake, ended up 11th somehow. The Mick, and then Reeser. Well, let's talk to him. The interviews. All right, I'm gonna hop out of here. Alrighty. So, uh, it was fun. Um, get at me in a little bit, Chris. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate you joining the booth, buddy. Yeah, yeah no, for sure, man. Great race. Uh, congratulations. That 22 car, that was a great round, man. Uh, three car, a strong car. Such a good race. I was better than I expected, man. Better than I expected for Talladega. Good for the play track. It's definitely a good race. All right. Get JPR in here real quick. Definitely a good race. It was one of the better ones I've had so far, but I kind of expected Talladega to be a little bit exciting. Yeah. I would imagine JPR is pretty excited. There he is, man. You did it. Win number two. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's awesome. Ah, oh, you did great, man. So... On the last green flag pit stop, when the two and the three get together, I couldn't really see exactly what happened. I looked at the three came down a little bit. I mean, you think you got pretty lucky there, huh? Not getting taken out. Um, I knew it was going to come down to that last pit stop. Um, the three of us, the two, the three, and the in my car, we were we're pretty good. We're separated from everybody else, so it, I think it was going to come down to strategy on two tires or no tires. And as I was going through the gears to get to the commitment line. In my mirror, I looked up for a brief second, and I think I saw a blue car come flying in there. And I think uh, he made contact with the three that made him miss pit road, and um, it slowed the two car down. So I was able to get in front of both of those guys after the cycle. Absolutely. Did you guys in the Fords have a plan going in here? Because it looked oh, yeah. like, yeah, honestly, yeah, it looked like you guys had a plan pretty well put together. You weren't really towards the front in the first stage, but you got back up there. Um, Once you got up there, you were there. Yeah, I had a problem in qualifying. I disconnected accidentally. So I started in the back, and once I was there and I realized I couldn't get to the front as fast as I wanted to, I just made the decision to ride back there until about the middle of the second stage. Gotcha. But, yeah, the four-team work was a huge part of the plan. We wanted somebody from American Badass to win the race. So we did. Help that the four-team <laughs> was, <laughs> was in between me and second place. Uh, and the 14 was my teammate, too. So, right. It looked like the 12 um, was also yeah, really fast cool. today. Yeah. I, I think I didn't have a, as good as a car as the 2 or the 12 leading, but I was a really good pusher. So I was I was a little worried after that cycle. I thought they were going to swap me going down the back straight away. We were, we were paying close attention. It got exciting, that's for sure. Job, Thanks, guys. Yeah, congratulations, man, on win number 2. And we'll see you yeah. next week. Yeah, you guys have a good night. Me too, bud. Okay. Mindflog got himself a top three. How about that? 
Mine fall, huh? We've been looking for a good finish. Hey, what's going on, Morse? What's going on, bud? That was a hell of a race, eh? It was a great race. You guys put on a heck of a show. You were close, man. You almost got it, but a top three's got to feel pretty good after the way the last three weeks have gone. Yeah, three and DNF, so I'll just take finishing. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, what happened, man, on the last pit stop? Did the three just come down India, or that's what it looked like happened? Yeah, I can't tell if he came down on me or if I came up into him, but when we made contact, I just lost it, and my front end was glowing red after that, so I told the 22, I got nothing, just just stay out there and I'll do the best I can. I gotcha. Yeah, you forwards were fast today, man. I feel bad for the 12. He uh, led a lot of laps towards the beginning there. And the 14, too, man, he was, he was really smooth. I don't really know what happened to him. I don't think we saw it, but it's unfortunate for him. Yeah, he just got caught up when uh, a couple cars changed lanes on him, kind of made kind of like a dirty change, and it messed him up. Gotcha, gotcha. But the uh, the American Badass Racing, they won the Xfinity last week, and then they won the Cup tonight, so that's a sweep at Dega for ABR. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. How do you feel about next week? You uh, you think you can keep the... I mean, you've been running towards the front every week. The finishes obviously don't show that because of the DNS. But you think you can keep the momentum up with the good running? Yeah. I got uh, I got good cars everywhere we go. And I got awesome teammates with uh, JPR, Jake the Snake, Tiggs. And tonight was Ghost the Ratter. We all test together and uh, we always, we're always productive before we come into the race. Gotcha. What is the next track? I don't have your guys' schedule. Dover, Kansas. Dover, Kansas, one of the two. I'll find out from Fajima. I don't have a copy of your guys' schedule yet. So, we've been going a little while. You'd think I'd know by now, but... <laughs> Does it follow the cup schedule? It might. I'm not 100% sure. I think so. I got my hands in too many different things, man. I don't. I can't tell where everybody's going all the time. <laughs> it's too hard. AJ, you want to ask him anything? Uh, no, I really don't have anything. No? You don't want to ask him about his new internet? Did you get new internet? I got, I got a new modem last week and a new router today. So I think that was the trick was the router. Ignition issues are gone. Right on, buddy. I hope so. <laughs> well, you seem good today. I didn't see any lag today really out of anybody. I think the 14 might have had one little spike somewhere in the beginning of stage three. Um, but other than that, I didn't see anybody else lag the whole race. It was pretty smooth. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Stressful, but fun. Good show you guys put on today. Hey, thank you very much, and uh, thank you for Impact TV. You guys always do a hell of a job. We try, man. <laughs> we try. We enjoy it. It's fun. It's it's fun. Who doesn't like watching racing? And when they put on a good show. Exactly. All right. Good job tonight. Thanks. We'll see you next week, buddy. 10 4. Yeah. Alright, we are going to go ahead and get Brave in here. Brave, which car was that? Brave was in the one car. The one car. Yeah. I don't know if it's his first top three on the season, but it's his first top three since we've been broadcasting the last month, so. It's a good run for him. Nice to see. Yeah, he was running mid-pack last year, but he started moving up towards the end. The old McDonald's car that I was already on and just skipped over accidentally. <laughs> the Monster Energy car now. Brave, how's it going, man? You got us? Hey, Chris, how's it going? Yeah, I got you, bud. It's going pretty good. You had a heck of a run tonight, man, which I think you needed. Get the momentum turned around. Strategy at the end, and yeah. Fits and like, on, the leader's right there. Absolutely, that those two getting together definitely helped you guys getting up hit row. But I mean, you did a good job all race. I think I mentioned it towards the middle of stage three. You you stayed towards the back, but you weren't in really any of the incidents. You stayed clean, so you're there at the end. You executed yeah. pretty good. I appreciate it, man. I had my buddy Marty behind me. 
definitely would have pushed me to the win. I probably made the wrong decision there on the last lap, but absolutely. It was good to see Marty on the track. Yes, sir. He's a um, good racer. Good racer. So I'm glad to see him out there too. Yeah, During the first uh, restart, uh, the initial start of the race, it, was that like a plan between you three guys to fall back, or did something happen on the restart? No, it wasn't to start with, but once we got back there, it was like, let's just, you know, line up, take it easy, keep our cars clean, and it worked out. So, yeah, it wasn't like another assumed run up front all day. <laughs> right. I hear you there. We well, did a good job tonight, man. And we're looking forward to seeing you keep the momentum up. I think um, I think things are really going to change for you guys pretty soon here. So a lot of stuff's going to open up. And, uh, yeah, definitely. You guys are pretty pretty quick in the season. So if you can, go, you can get the momentum swung around, I mean, it's anybody's game right now. You keep running towards the front. I've seen you run. I mean, we watched you at Richmond. We watched you at Bristol. You stay out of trouble. Kind of seems like trouble's found your way a little bit. That's a big part of it. It's all coming around. It's a big it's part of it. Like... Well, good job tonight, buddy. And we'll hopefully right, be interviewing day. you next week, too. I'd love to be here, bud. Y'all have a good night. Thanks for having me. You good too, time. man. All right. We've got one more person we're going to talk to tonight. Who's that? We're going to talk to Mr. Cody Workman. Cody Workman? Well, Cody has an announcement he would like to make. We're going to let him make it. Oh, is this good news or bad news? Well, I mean, it could be looked at either way, I suppose. I don't really know. Oh. How about the esports, Jeff? I didn't really like the turnouts. It, in my personal opinion. Uh, I mean, I you don't really want me to comment on it because I was involved, but. I don't know. Yeah. I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I think everybody that got drafted pretty much... Damn it, I skipped over the paint scheme. Pretty much deserved to be drafted. I can't take anybody off the list. So, I mean, it's just one of those things. I wish that it would have been 16 teams instead of 14. But anyways, enough of that. Mr. Workman, what's going on, sir? Uh, not much. It was a good final run for my last race in this series. Uh uh, just can't thank the guys enough for having me in this thing for the past year. Uh, had a good car tonight. Um, in the end, it was just a numbers game, and I knew at the end when it was just me and Fuji in front, and then you had the three ABR cars behind. Uh, yeah. It was a case of you know having to do whatever I needed to do, uh, just on the end of the disaster to try to keep them behind. But in the end, then Fuji had to pit because he didn't pit under the last caution. Then it was three on one, and then. I don't know, I wanted to get three wide and something got taken out there and then it became two on one and just get a side swipe a couple times, but uh, other than that, uh, good run, had a fast car. And that's one of the things with these Vega races, it mainly comes down to numbers, almost the speed. Every time. Well, you did a good job tonight, man. We watched. You were on your own pretty much the whole race. The 43 tried to help you as much as he could. I mean, those Fords just had it figured out. But listen, we haven't talked at all about you moving on. So, I mean, let's talk about that. Where are you going, bud? It was hard for me to not mention it during the whole race when we were oh, talking about yeah, it because it changes um, everything. You're the points leader. You've won the most <laughs> races. It, it, everything is up in the air for these guys now. So, yeah, well, I mean, basically ever since, you know, with the results of the pro league draft, it's like, you know, basically it's, it's a common thing that everyone who didn't get drafted is like, you know, okay, like what can – I do or like what are some things that I can maybe do to maybe help enhance my ability or potential to maybe get drafted mm -hmm. uh, for season two right and uh, no disrespect to these guys at all they are a great group of guys and if anything out of the several weeks I've been in they are the strongest sense of family and community that I've ever been a part of and I really appreciate them having me in here in the past year um, but where I am going to be going to is going to be to a league that has quite a few of the pro league drivers. Yep. Uh, and with that being said, uh, just with being involved in the other league, it's going to be having to drop out of this one just from time constraints. So I'll be announcing that tomorrow at like 10 Eastern, 
where I'm yep. going to be going on Twitter. Absolutely. But, so, uh, yeah. Basically, just just to kind of make it a little more simple for everybody, you're looking at it as out of the 14 guys on the PlayStation side that got drafted, all of them are in one of three leagues, right? Pretty sure all of them. Yeah, like all of them are in one of the three. three. Okay, so you're just trying to get in and break into one of those leagues, which. I think yeah. the Elite Racing Series, I think everybody in the Elite Racing Series would agree um, that they're not quite, they're growing. You know what I mean? They're pretty new. Mm-hmm. They're growing. Oh, they're yeah. getting there. Nothing against, nothing against them. Like, you know, I feel like definitely from where this was a year ago, they are night and day have grown more. Have, yeah. I mean, I've I've just found out about them, and I think a lot of people have as they've watched the stream and the broadcast over the last month, and I think it's going to continue to grow. But I definitely understand your point of view. And uh, we wish you the best over there, man. I think you'll, I think you'll fit in. I think you'll do good. Um, I think you'll enjoy. It. I mean, you've raced with a group of guys before, you know what I mean. So you know for the most part who they are. Um, and I certainly think you'll you'll make a name. I mean, you've already made a name for yourself, but you'll make a name for yourself over there. You'll have a good, good opportunity to trade paint with. Hell, they got what, five or six pros over there. So uh, I believe seven. Seven. Maybe so there you go. Or, or I, say, I think seven of them are with them, four or five are with us, and then another one or two are with the Venom League. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's. I can't believe it turned out yeah. that way, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm not surprised, but I am surprised because I just didn't think that it would go that way. But it yeah, is. Yeah, uh, and then, and that's just kind of one thing that, you know, looked at, you know, oh, well, you know, we're kind of getting proved. Well, uh, you know, like just what I noticed about myself, like, I was basically one of the top guys, maybe the top guy that wasn't in those big three leagues. So maybe getting, you know, with one of the only, I'd say, yeah. That uh, enhanced it for season two, and that's kind of what we've all been going towards. But like I said, can't be, can't thank the guys from the league enough, uh, Kevin Bullock and Steve Harden, for getting this league started uh, back in March, I believe, March, April of last year, and now getting it to where it is today. Uh, well, fellow admins, team owners, uh, drivers uh, from here and in our Xfinity series that runs on Thursday nights. Uh, each one of them has had a part in making me feel welcome and accepted here. So, ready to close the book on uh, this chapter and start a new one. All right, man. Well, good luck. Good run tonight. It's been a pleasure watching and calling your races. You've done a hell of a job and. Man, you just threw the rule book out the window for these guys. I mean, the, <laughs> it's it's. I think that hands the lead over. It would have handed it over to to Speedy Steve, but he wasn't here tonight. So oh, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna be watching this still very. Uh, I'm gonna, it's gonna be nice now to uh, watch this as a fan now. Yeah. Uh, I, yes. And who knows? Maybe uh, down the road. Uh, like I said, like what I've been saying, I've been singing the retire from this like from this league full time because. You know, you never know what opportunities may arise in the future. But uh, for now, let's just close the book on this. For sure. All right, man. Good luck. We are going to wrap things up. Thanks to Kevin Bullock, of course, for letting us stream the league to the channel. And I'm not entirely sure where they're going next week, folks, but I will find out for you. And we will let you know. Dover? Is it Dover? They're going to Dover. Count on Workman. (laughs) He'll let you know. (laughs) So they're going to Dover. So we'll be plugging that promoting that throughout the week and I said next week it's it's up in there workman's not there so i i i don't know who's gonna win I, but maybe mind flaw you know <laughs> when you're not around mind flaw seems to be towards the front so we're gonna call it now all right guys thanks for watching